Hey guys, this is Versatile from VC Power, now host on Project Phoenix Media. In today's video game tutorial for this PS3 tutorial series, I'm going to show you how to play your backed up PlayStation 1 games on a jailbroken PS3. I'm using a custom firmware 4.66. You might be using a different version that's going to be okay. And I'm using the latest version of Multiman. So in today's example, what I got here is, let me go ahead and take my disc. I got a backed up copy of one of my favorite games for PlayStation 2, sorry, PlayStation 1, Twisted Metal 2. So let's go ahead, put this inside the PS3 tray, like so, great, and then just let you know I'm running the latest version of Multi-Man. So let's go ahead to the game section here, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, actually just let it load for a second here, and we'll see it's a PlayStation format disc, let's go ahead, press X on this guy, and it's going to load the game, and we already have a lot of good time. So let me just show you real quickly what the game performance is like. And it's pretty good. It's just like playing a PlayStation 1 game on original PlayStation. It's awesome. So let's go ahead, just try to get through the main menu as quickly as possible here. Show you some quick gameplay that, yeah, this does work. Alright, awesome, awesome, awesome. Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Axel is always a good common choice. I don't know why he's lagging there. That's sort of interesting. Just give it a second to load. Could be my disc is dirty. Whoa, take a look at that. But you gotta admit, this is a PlayStation 1 emulator running off the PS3, so for what it's worth, it's pretty, pretty good. Alright, let's go. Music is good, awesome. Alright, so let's go ahead, let's quit the game. So that's how you can play this PlayStation game that way. You could load it from a disc. The second way you could do this is, let's say you want to rip your PlayStation 1 games to your USB hard drive. How does that work? So let's go ahead, let's go to the game section here. Let's go all the way down to Multiman. I'll show you how to rip your games to your internal or your external USB hard drive that is formatted as FAT32. For reference purposes, take a look at my external hard drive down there. It's a one terabyte laptop hard drive in a USB 2.0 enclosure. It's awesome. Okay, so what we're going to do is if let's say you have a PlayStation 1 game that's already inserted and you want to play off an internal hard drive or a USB hard drive. So what you want to do is go to the game section, navigate to your PlayStation disk, press triangle, and go to create an ISO. So you go ahead and press X here, and here you can say do you want to create on the hard drive or do you want to do it on the USB? So let's for example, let's say I want to do it on the USB. It's going to go ahead and create the ISO image. It takes about 10, 20, 30 minutes depending on the size of the game. What I'm going to do for now is I'm going to skip this because I already created an ISO image earlier today. So I'm going to go ahead and cancel that. And once you have ripped a game successfully, if you go to retro section here, here is where you see your game that's already loaded on your internal or external hard drive. So just to show you proof, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and eject the disc. So that was a Twisted Metal 2 backup game disc. In today's example, I'm going to have to run Twisted Metal 1 from my internal hard drive. And I'll show you just real quick proof, real briefly here, how's the performance. And just to be honest, it's pretty good. I mean, for a retro gamer, you know, I can't complain. So once you load the game, it's going to go back to the XXMB main menu here. So go back to the top here, PlayStation Format Disk, press X. And now we're going to be loading the game from the internal hard drive in my particular case. And that's awesome. So let's go ahead, go through the main menus here real quickly here. Just show you uh, a, a sample of how this works. And hopefully if you have a jailbroken PS3, fat or slim, um, and you want some good times, this is definitely a good way to have a lot of good times. Especially if you have a lot of fond PlayStation 1 game memories. Resident Evil, Resident Evil 2, Metal Gear, uh, Warhawk. Destruction Derby, Destruction Derby 2, Road Rash, oh my god, there's so many good games there. Spiral, Crash Bandicoot, 1, 2, 3, 4. Twisted Metal, 1, 2, 3, 4. There's tons and tons and tons of games. Wipeout, okay, let's go. One player contest, Sweet Tooth. 
Hell yeah. Let's do this. Show you some performance, see how this works. I like this game too. It's awesome. Yeah. yeah. Anyways, we can clearly see how to do PlayStation 1 games on a jailbroken PS3 through a U through a uh, internal or external USB hard drive or playing from a game disc. So if you guys have any nitpicky questions, leave a comment here on YouTube page. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.